Good morning and welcome back to Kirkstone. It's been a while since we did an unboxing and had a look at a cactus hall. The weather's been quite overcast here, not really fantastic video weather, but it's much better now. Nice sunny day, beautiful in the greenhouse and even more beautiful in the garden. I'm just in the process of emptying a, a box, a very, very well protected box that's arrived from Knobs and Blobs. Uh, Knobs and Blobs are a UK based grower and trader who trade on UK eBay as Knobs and Blobs too. As usual I'll put the contact details on and we'll have a look at the quality of the plants which have arrived from a trader I have dealt with before so I, I know somewhat what to expect. So, Having got the polystyrene out of the way, let's have a look at what we're getting. Now well, something's just stuck in my finger, so there's something pretty sharp in here, and I can see some spines coming out. Now this is a, a ferociously spined cactus. Now I'm unpacking the paper very carefully because of course the spines have actually gone through into the paper and the last thing I want to do is to damage the spination as I unpack. Now I've already identified the plant and what we have here is a quite frankly beautiful Gymno Coliseum, and from where I am, this looks like Gymno Coliseum Saglione, Saglionis, I sometimes see written, and there we are, a beautiful specimen plant of this larger growing Gymno Coliseum. Okay, so I'll put that down here, and we'll look, come back and look at that a little bit later. That's the first plant from Knobs and Blobs, Gymno Coliseum. Right, here's a second small package. Again, nicely wrapped up with cushioning tissue paper and well packed into the middle of the box, surrounded by polystyrene. And we have what looks like another slightly smaller different species Gymnocolisseum with a nice set of tap roots. I hope you can see those in the camera. Nice set of tap roots and a beautiful unmarked Gymnocolisseum species as yet unidentified. And I'll have to go back to the, the packing list of the eBay order. To say exactly which one that is. Ah, now this is something I've been looking forward to for a while. I did put some photographs on Instagram and the Kirkstone Botanica Facebook page yesterday of the first agave which I've admitted into the collection. So having been growing these plants for 40 years, I've managed to avoid agaves because I knew what would happen once I got involved. And the agave bug has bitten. I really, really like the, the uniformity of the rosette shape. The fact that most of them are cold or even frost hardy, which in my climate is really, really useful. So yesterday I put up some pictures of Agave Victoria Regini, but an unusual one, which is a clustering one, which is unusual in a plant series which is normally monocarpic. So normally with Agaves you have one plant, it has one growing point, and it grows for a few years, then the growing point becomes the flower spike, the plant puts all its energy into the flower spike, and then the flower dies and the plant dies with it. Normally in the process it will send out a few offsets in the dying phase and spread vegetatively that way 
and of course by seeds sexually the other way. But the agave victoria regini that I posted yesterday is the one which actually forms clumps even in a juvenile stage. Well this is another beautiful choice and very well rooted agave called um, Potatorum and it's absolutely fantastic bluey grey colour and I'm going to try and demonstrate that as much well as I can but we will have a, a closer look at Agave Potatorum a little bit later in the series. That's the third plant I need to pot up. What else do we have? Well, in here we have another agave which is a dwarf form and again a multi clustering form that looks amazingly like a small Hawarthia or one of the grass leaved aloes. Again very very well rooted and a lovely dwarf clustering agave there. Okay and again I'll sort out the botanical details and I'll put some more information up on that a little bit later. One broken leaf there. Okay. What else do we have from knobs and blobs? I notice I'm carefully knocking any fragments of compost back into the box because I can use those later. Well, this is another biggish, biggish bundle. Slightly larger than an apple or an orange. Maybe avocado size if we're looking for fruit metaphors and this is another oh my god that is a beautiful plant another dwarf or larger growing I should say not dwarf gymnocalycium form with that fantastic geometry that you also always get from the gymnocalycium genus and that is an absolutely lovely plant Again, very, very well rooted and with that strong spination, not threatening so much as a, um, an echinocactus or a furrocactus. You can pick it up and handle it quite easily, but still very, very well and strongly spined. And that beautiful geometrical precision of spines with ribs, with areoles and tubercles. Another fantastic gymnocalysium there. Oh, and we've still got a few more to go. This is definitely a haul. Now, I haven't been spined yet, so I don't think this is another cactus. But I could be wrong. Now, what we have here is... A lovely small Caespitos aloe to add to our ever-growing aloe collection. Again, not a plant that I can identify from sight, so I'll need to look it up and I'll report back as soon as I have that information. But a beautiful specimen, completely unmarked, very well rooted and already offsetting nicely into a small clump. Collecting plenty of compost here as well as I discard padding. Ah, just had a spine in my thumb. Now this is big. This is definitely bigger than an avocado. This is more like a, a juvenile melon. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow! I did, I did, did I not, say that you can handle gymnocalycium unlike a furrocactus or a cactus 
without getting badly injured. Well, I'd like to go on record as retracting that position because this is another absolutely astonishing specimen plant which cost me from memory about five pounds five to six pounds and that is astonishing value for money because that large apple medium avocado or very small melon sized gymnocolisium is well worth 20 to 30 pounds of anybody's money that is an astonishing bargain from knobs and blobs what a fantastic plant just look at this brace of gymnocolisia now both of those plants came for a total of about 10 pound and if I had a third hand which is not one of my admittedly many talents I only have the two I would have showed you the third one which would have brought us up to about 15 pound but that is absolutely incredible it really is I'm, I'm almost beside myself and there's more and in this box we have an absolutely bewildering array of high quality show bench competition standard specimen plants for what really in terms of how much you can pay for plants pennies now this is a another astonishing I'm becoming repetitive I know astonishing for the price clump of a Hawarthia Morgani Truncata hybrid a beautiful Hawarthia which measures some five inches across and is as perfect as you could possibly imagine um, beside myself with, uh, with praise for the quality of plants the size of the plants in conjunction with the price paid the perfect algebra size plus quality plus price equals happiness and finally we have a lovely uh, <laughs> I, need to th I need to think of some more appropriate adjectives here because I really have never seen quality like this for a very long time small offset falling off there but that will do to give to somebody as a present and just look at that clumping super super quality Gasteria glomerata a lovely thick skinned Gasteria clump which is about again what five inches across three inches widthwise brilliant so what I'll do is I'll get rid of this box first of all I'll check that there are no surprises in terms of plants being left no nope, that's all of them and I'll lay these plants out and then we can have a look at all of them together and I have to say you can colour me impressed because I have never seen a range of plants delivered at that price that size and that quality in combination it's absolutely astonishing I'll just turn that spiky gymnocolisium round and we'll try and have a look at all of the plants now all of these plants will be potted up straight away and pictures will be available on Facebook and on Instagram <clears throat> and they will all I'm sure be featured 
in new videos on the Kirkstone Botanica YouTube channel. Just look at these three gymnocolysiums. This fabulous Hawarthia. This absolutely astonishing Gasteria glomerata. It's an absolute clump. This aloe. This fantastic agave. Just look at that. Perfect plant. And then the other Gymnocolysium with the tap roots. And this fantastic monster here. Just look at that plant. It's about five inches in diameter. It's clearly flowered. Very, very healthy and well developed root systems all the way along. Surely one of the best unboxings or cactus hauls we've done so far. Fantastic, fantastic, amazing, stupendous, value for money, quality, impressive, and absolutely astonishing that final Gymno Coliseum. So we're approaching the end of this haul from Knobs and Blobs 2. Please check them out on eBay UK because you are not going to get better value plants than this anywhere. I absolutely guarantee it. I'm astonished. Bye bye from now. Bye bye from Kirkstone. And bye bye from today's haul from Knobs and Blobs 2. Brilliant. Bye bye.